for the film. And uh, it's just like driving a car. If you know how to drive a stick shift, an automatic car is so simple. Same with camera. Yeah, I, I, I have to clean it. Yeah, hopefully the taste very good. The battery is already simple. Yeah, I think I'll take it then. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. I mean, the other. And I'll wear out yeah. the, the head and the, the camcorder is already old. Yeah. So you, you don't want to wear it anymore. <clears throat> My name is Farmer Fong and uh, we have a repair camera shop and uh, I've been doing this since 1976 and uh, I love the job so uh, I'm still here. I started out as a photographer and uh, I spent a few years as a photographer and uh, one day a friend of mine asked me to fix a lens a clean a Nikon lens for him and uh, I told him I have never opened a camera uh, a lens before and uh, he said try it because you know he, he want me to clean it for him so I did that and uh, it seems easy for me I'm always intrigued by camera. Uh, for me, it's one of the great human invention. Uh, when I open and try to repair a camera, I always marvel at how smart these people, you know, 50, 60, 100 years ago, was able to define a mechanical uh, instrument that is so good to keep memories. Three hundred for you. I'm selling for four hundred. Think you really sell for four hundred? Oh yeah. I keep them, I overhaul it, I make them work great, and then I, like I say, I, I keep them on my display case and my collection. Uh, like I say, every one of them has a story. I'm gonna show you a couple, a few, okay? They are very uh, unique, like this one. This is a tower, and actually this camera was made by a company, a Japanese company called Nikka, and they use Nikkor lenses, and uh, it's called the Yashika YF. They don't make too many of these, and I happen to get one of them, and uh, I haven't had a chance to fix them yet, but uh, soon. So this is one of them. Very rare, very rare. You you don't see them often. But I have my wife and my daughter, and uh, they don't want to have anything to do with it. So I figure, as long as I'm in business, I love this job. I like, I love this shop. As long as I can still work, it will be open. And uh, till the day I can no longer do it, then it will be closed, and that's it.
Let me make a quick check. Okay. Sorry for the things I've done. I've shamed myself with lies, but soon.